American dream is for all of us. It's like, what are we all aiming for? And for me, that kind of started making me think about how do I want to leave my mark? Like, what do I want to work for? And so when I got to college, I interned at the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And then that was when I would see all these kids that were losing their hair to chemotherapy and they'd be offered a wig or they'd be given a hat. And a lot of them weren't really concerned with covering up their heads. They just wanted something to feel good about themselves. So they would wear headbands and no one was providing headbands to these kids. So I started a company called Headbands of Hope and for every headband sold, we donate one to a child with cancer. I remember there was, uh, I got this letter and I keep this file on my computer of all the letters and pictures that we get. So whenever I'm having a rough day, I can just open it up. But um, I remember getting this letter from this mom whose daughter was in remission and she was supposed to be starting kindergarten and she didn't want to go to school because she was thinking that like everyone would think that she was a boy because her hair hadn't grown back yet. And then she went in for her checkup and she was given a headband of hope that day that the hospital staff had. And when she got home from school, she like laid out her outfit for kindergarten. She laid out all of her backpack and school supplies and was like, mom, when do I get to go to kindergarten? And to think that this like one small accessory made such a big impact on this girl's confidence. I hope that Headbands of Hope also shows people that you don't have to do the big gestures of giving. We don't have to be able to like fund a rainforest in order to give back. Just do the small things that are right in front of you because it can make a big difference. And through a book, Chasing the Bright Side, Jess hopes to inspire others to do just that, make a big difference. This book is what I needed to hear when I was going through a lot. And I think that with social media, we paint this picture that is just the highlight reel of our lives. And I think that because I wasn't hearing people's real stories of the A to B, the messy middle, the times when they were completely blindsided, I felt like any time I messed up or any time something crazy happened to me, that it was just me. And so I want Chasing the Bright Side to be the real transparent A to B, had an idea, made it work, was blindsided by this scandal when I was in high school and I'm still here and this is all just a part of my story and it's not about what happens to us, it's what we do next and how we respond.